Now Jason is completely cocky. He is as arrogant as they come. FBI Special Agent Lance Lysing is in the business of hunting people. And for more than three years now, Lysing has been hunting a murder suspect by the name of Jason Derrick Brown. And this is somebody with a master's in international business. Uh, it speaks fluent French. Uh, he come, was raised in Orange County uh, with a silver spoon in his mouth for most of his uh, young life. Perhaps not the pedigree one would expect of a cold-blooded killer, but Special Agent Lysing says that's exactly what Jason Brown is. And why Brown is today one of the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitives. This was a pure outright assassination of this armored car guard. It was November 2004, the Monday after the long Thanksgiving weekend. A 24-year-old armored car guard by the name of Robert Keith Palmaris ruthlessly gunned down after picking up the long weekend's cash receipts from the AMC theaters in Ahwatukee. He was confronted by an individual wearing a hood, full sweatshirt, and with a 45 caliber Glock handgun. And? And, and point blank range, no demand for the money. It was a pure assassination. And with about $56,000 in cash, the calculating killer then fled the scene, riding a bicycle. A bike later found abandoned in a nearby wash, and Jason Brown ultimately linked to the crime when his fingerprint turned up on that ditched bike. He did plenty of research, and that research included surveillance, it included purchasing, uh, purchasing the mountain bike, uh, you know, all sorts of things. He had planned this out, I mean, completely planned this out. And what his friends said about him, I mean, he was always the person to be buying the rounds at the bar. He was, everybody loved to be his friend. I mean, you go to the bar with him, they'd buy, buy drinks, I mean, he would rent tables for the night, I mean, he would have everything set up, and he, he loved doing that. He loved being the life of the party, but that lifestyle couldn't last that long. Indeed, according to Special Agent Lysing, long before he became a killer, Jason Brown was a con man. A one-time LDS missionary, Brown allegedly specialized in a variety of scams, like taking money from young women, promising to make them models, selling imported golf gear, and always, Special Agent Lysing says, living a far more lavish lifestyle than his bank account could support. Really, uh, he was just... Uh, conning banks out of uh, funds, uh, defaulting on loans left and right, um, just conning people to get by, sleeping on couches later, uh, up near the time of the robbery, sleeping on friends' couches, but driving the you know, $60,000 sports car. And Lysing believes it was Brown's addiction to the good life that turned the struggling con man into the brazen killer, an addiction coupled with a big dose of arrogance that Lysing now hopes will someday trip Jason Brown up. And now that he's risen to the level of a top 10 fugitive within the FBI, I mean, he's somebody that aren't, we're focused on, and we're not going to stop looking for him.